what is going on you beautiful human being welcome back to my channel today we are reacting to jujitsu kaisen episode 22 and 23 metamorphosis part 2 and shibui incident gate closed if you like jujitsu kaisen smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date let's jump straight into this so here we go i mean it's it's definitely been a while since i've jumped into two episodes after each other so i decided hey why not for this one and just almost to sit back and just watch what happens you know because i'm like i've been trying to figure things out for so long that you know it's just not you know i keep thinking things and then it doesn't happen damn yes panda as well which i said before looks so different you know compared to like how we knew him from before he seemed to be like a lot smarter before right because gojo was the i'm in favor of yuji's execution crazy because remember like they said gojo is the only one who's keeping you know itadori alive shall we sleep in the same bed tonight <laughs> oh right chozo crazy he did pass out and i was wondering if it was because he you know used too much blood or whatever but who who knows what it is what are you what am i so we definitely are at a point now where things are starting to around itself of oh yes this is them and i said i think ghetto is gonna kill mahito and absorb his curse energy damn Oh wow. Damn, that's the thing. You can always change it no matter what. You can get used to this one's technique. You can beat this one. And then you'll just send out a new one. And that's the thing, he thought that he actually fell into a hole. But like he said, from our perspective, you just looked like you fell down. Okutsu. Yuta. <gasps> he tried to touch him. I was born from you humans. Oh, he's absorb. I did. I not say he's gonna absorb him. Oh my gosh! Man, Mahito's finally done. Something I've been wanting to see. I've been wanting to see this for some time now. Oh. A supreme art. Lioikionozoika, Soredore no Jitushi no Ogi no Yona Monoda. Jure soju to Gokuno Bano, Uzumaki. Uzumaki? Isn't that Naruto surname?
I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything that he just said. Did you think I wouldn't notice the presence you felt? Oh, it's her. Oh my goodness, thank goodness we've got some other sorcerers in this fight. But damn, so the last fight is going to be against Ghetto. Or whoever this Ghetto is. That's taken over his body. Man, look at the carnage everywhere. New Shadow Star. Quick draw. Oh, he just caught it like that. She's done. Uzumaki. Someone with a bit of knowledge. <laughs> oh my goodness. And remember I was saying the whole time how he was such a coward. Oh my word. Finally. Oh my goodness. I don't know why. It just feels so good that... Itadori is like around people that can help him fight. That's what I'm saying. It's the shell is ghetto. But who is it? Chozo. Kamunoritoshi. The worst sorcerer in all history. Oh, wow. What? I'm his older brother. Very bizarre, I will say that. I know he had like those visions and stuff, so is it b because his mind got corrupted or something? Blood-related younger brother. I'm not going to pretend to understand what he's saying, but very intense. And I like his blood manipulation technique is amazing. But damn, to have Chozo on their side in this battle is big. Because his technique is amazing. But didn't Sukuna talk to the dude with the white hair? He was like, Usayabi or something. It's been a while. Man. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna have to re-watch everything again. Like, at some point. Um, like, in my own time.
But I don't see Chozo surviving this fight. That's for sure. Damn, but he's... Man, that blood manipulation is so damn strong, I'm telling you. And now we find out who the person is. You know, someone who can change bodies. And they were saying, like, over 150 years old. Man, that is amazing. How he can actually just leap from the blood in the sky. Whoa. <laughs> he nearly killed me once already. Dangerous pheromones. <laughs> Yeah, because he's got the prison realm right in his gown or gi. Ice formation. Wow, frost calm. Oh my word, frozen. I need messengers. A reverse curse technique. I mean, how old are they going to go home? Like, how old are these people as well? 150. That, I, I think it's like Usayabi is, also looks like is ancient. Let's go, it's a dory. Myself to do with Sakuna. I'm your older brother. <laughs> oh, Nichan. <laughs> Winseth. Utaima to finish her preparations. Interesting. Icefall. Man, this is the first time we've actually seen, like, iced, cursed energy before. Oh, what up now? Long time no see. Ghetto. Is this Mei Mei? <gasps> it's her! Yuki Tsukumo, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Yuki. Okay, we've jumped straight into gate closed, Shibuya incident. I was, I mentioned her in the last, in one of the previous episodes, where I thought maybe she was involved in something. Because we only saw that one time when she spoke to Geto, like right before he lost his mind. And now we seeing her again. Crazy. But it seems like she hasn't aged. Or maybe she has. Need to buy time for Laru to act. Freeing itself from cursed energy. That's humanity's next stage. Wow. And what is that thing floating around? <laughs> When Zen and Toji die. Japan would have a monopoly on cursed energy because of Tengen. I've already finished extracting the technique. Oh. oh my gosh, Idol Transfiguration. Here we go. This is it. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what are they gonna be able to do now? Tengen's barrier. So that's basically why he kind of recruited them. Fushiguru Tsumiki, that's his mom, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh. Junpei, we are from season one. Oh, so he's been at work the whole time. One of them has been in a deep sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so he he made Yuji to be this powerful vessel. He obviously did something to Megumi, Uraumi. Poison. Secretly making packs for a thousand years. This is the world of the future. So, what are these? Are all the packs that he made over all the years? The thousands of packs. Just when you think that things had reached their limit, oh, look at this now. Like the worst thing that, and there's Geta. I have high expectations for you. The golden age of jujitsu, the world of Heian. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Sure, it's not fake news. <laughs> that's like everything that they just showed now of like all the people panicking and just shows you the disconnect between the sorcerers and the non-sorcerers. How there is like literally two worlds within one. <gasps> They're gonna publicly announce cursed spirits. Wow. So that's why I'm saying the complete disconnect. Oh my gosh. Damn. Now the news teams are being taken out. Because remember, Kamo released that whole, like, thousands of them onto the city. Damn, just eating from the floor. Oh, it's some kid. Come. Um. 
some type of ghost oh my gosh and obviously all the different types of curse spirits all different types of like you know they all have different agendas you know what about my mom and i hate my teacher <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's finished. Oh, damn, there's the setup. By the time you see it, you're already dead. Oh. Wait. Who's this now? Why does it look like Fushiguru? Yuta! <laughs> no ways! Oh my god! Yuta! Where on earth did he come from? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Is that Rika chan? <laughs> Don't look. Rika chan. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Oh my gosh. Why? It's Yuta. Are you mad? Are you absolutely mad? That's crazy. <laughs> Yuta. Man. I've been wanting to see him back in the show for so long. Since the movie. And he comes here. I don't even know if this is the last episode. But now he only shows up. Halfway through the episode. It's high time I confronted Tengen. What will you do, Okotsu? Any attempt to free him from his seal. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my word, you just must kill Itadori. What? It's those old guys, man. They are obviously taking advantage of the situation because they've never liked Gojo from the beginning. And now that he's out the way, it's like, okay, cool. Now it's a crime if you take a break him from his seal. Damn. And what was that about Inumaki? Man, is Yuta now a bad guy? Ah, man. <sighs> the show, I swear. What is this? Oh my goodness, man. Jujutsu Kaisen, I swear, is just... It's, it's insanity, you know? I mean, 
at the same time that i was happy to see yuta back now i'm like they've put me in this place where i'm like i don't know what to think two good really good episodes like i've always said before when it comes to watching any anime or anything like that i watch it i read i try to understand as much as i can and then i try to interpret that in my own way there's a lot about jujitsu kaisen and especially if i'm sort of doing reactions to it and stuff right but there's a lot about jujitsu kaisen that i i miss right there's a lot even in these two episodes i can try and sit here and you know try come up with my own conclusions but i will tell you right now i there's a lot that i missed but and all i can really speak about is the stuff that i understood one being that we found out who the imposter was right the fake ghetto is a guy named kamu hirogashi or something I, I know i butchered that but essentially he's someone who for a very long time has moved from body to body and he's obviously had his own ideas and his own ideology at play what he was he was saying something about and everything i say it like someone please correct me in the comments and be like no you got this wrong yeah you're right on about that but he was saying something that he created these people. He created like Yuji to be, or used Yuji to, as a vessel. Like that's why he's able to handle Sukuna's, all the different, the cursed energy from his fingers. Then he even put the cursed mark on Tsumiki Fushiguru. That's most likely uh, Megumi's mother. She had it on her forehead here. So that's, that's, if I understood it correctly, that's why he was able to use that technique, right? The one that they spoke about before. I think it was like the t um the new shadow style that one right that he used earlier and it seems like this camo is the guy who's been sitting behind the whole time and he's been orchestrating everything he's just been the guy behind all of these things and and now we see but it was weird how we found out because it was chozo who was the one who said he had three parents his mother his father and then the man who sort of mixed his blood or something into the equation and toyed with my mother so he was able to pick up the fact that he sensed that same thing in itadori and so that's why it kind of links up where it's like oh he did tamper with itadori making him the vessel because chozo picked it up and noticed the same thing in him that's in itadori is that the fact that this kamo has tampered with them and that's why he called him his little brother like you know blood brothers or he, you know he said it's like his relative and just you know the idol transfiguration and the fact that he was using jogo and mojito to learn as much as they could so that when he absorbs them that's the only way they can really grow then actually absorbing mojito and sort of releasing this a whole new world where he had like these thousands of pacts that he had made over the years with all these cursed spirits and but it became annulled when he took over Ghetto's body. And then when he reabsorbed Mahito, he was able to release everything again. And basically his idea is to almost have a monopoly on cursed spirits where it's like Japan especially will in the whole world will have the most powerful, I guess, cursed users, if you will. Like I said, there's I'm just grabbing right now. I'm just grabbing from my memory banks right now, just trying to figure it out. And then we saw Yuki arrive. I spoke about her a few episodes ago. I said, I wonder if she's behind any of this because she already spoke to Ghetto back then. And that was like just before he kind of went over the edge. And, and then we see Yuta arrive, one of my favorite characters. And now he's been hired by... It's, I think it is those old men that we always saw Gojo like going back and forth with, where they didn't like what he did and they called him arrogant and stuff i remember there was a line that gojo said where he was like yeah, one day i'll come for you or something like that and i think this will lead to that and look at the rules they've just made now you know they've lifted the law that gojo set down and now they're gonna execute yuji through yuta's hands and he's already accepted and we even saw inumaki his arms were like chopped off or something yuta said i already did that you know so i will do this as well and then yuji claps like that at the end and he's like curse spirits come to him 
that same clap is almost like what Todo did. Very interesting. A lot to unpack. I'm not sure where they are now in the show i've like actually caught up which is kind of crazy and so i'm i'm li literally wondering if there will be another episode or if this is all going to be there for the next season even which i mean would be good to take a bit of a break because a lot has happened this season but anyways that's i don't want to trap triple on too long but very awesome show one of my favorite shows of all time and i believe could be one of the best animes ever created but that's going to be it for me if you like jujitsu kaisen smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date because your boy's releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit